everybody. I'm New Age Designs, and today we're here in Stormworks Build and Rescue. In today's video, I'll be showing you my six methods of adding detail to your creations. So, let's get straight into it. So I have put this creation together in order to demonstrate what each of the methods are doing. So first we'll start off with block choice. This one might be most, the most important of them all, as it definitely makes your creation stand out. As we can see here, there is a lot of places I could have used the regular one by one block, but I haven't. For example, the table legs here. I've used the solid fuel rocket boosters, or even here at the back of the chairs. This uh, microcontroller, which does nothing, it's just an empty shell, makes the chair look a whole lot round and more comfortable, which is what I was after. I've used this all over this room, and it does bring things out. Whether it's here, where I've used the manifolds in places they're not actually meant to go, or whether it's this catwalk, I've used heat sinks just for decoration. By doing this, your creations will look a whole lot better. Next, we've got irregularities. This is something that just seems to work. If you do this, it will look a whole lot better. You don't need many, just one or two. This just makes the eye come towards it and just stands out. See this TV up here displaying a map. It doesn't need to be there, but with it there, I think it looks a whole lot better. It just brings the room together. Or even this fire extinguisher. It just works there, but it isn't needed. Well, in a Stormworks point of view, it isn't needed. Next, we've got depth. Now, this is another really important one. If this back wall here was just a plain, smooth wall, it would look a little bit boring. Like over here, this wall, it looks a bit plain and boring. By just adding in these strips, or supports, A, the creation looks more realistic from a structural point of view, and, and it's more appealing to the eye. Then I've just filled in the gaps with some slopes, and it just works to get well together. This is another one that once you master, it is well worth it. So fourth in the list is colour. This one is really important. If you get it wrong, then you have got it wrong. There's no other way around it. There's nothing worse than seeing a creation where the colour just doesn't go. I've done it lots of times, and it is straight back to the drawing board. So as you can see on these servers here, the colours of the flashing lights, they work well together the blues and the greens, and then the reds, they work to get it well together. This table here, if I just used the stock brown colour in the game, it would stand out. That's why you need to use the advanced colour tool. I'll show you at the now. Here in the workbench, you can select any of these colours here. And this large dot here, click it and it will open up this menu. You can then use these sliders, controlling red, green and blue, to create your own colours. You can then save them up here just by add custom colour and clicking one of the boxes here. This can just help you get that exact colour you're looking for. It takes a bit of time, but yet again, it is well worth it. So let's spawn into your fuel in. And we'll go on to number five. Lighting. Now, in Stormworks, lighting can be a bit of an issue when it comes to frame rate. So I'd advise that you do it very sparse. 
just enough for the room to be bright, especially in larger creations. Be very careful. So as we can see here, I've got a couple of lights up in the top of the roof, hanging down. This is mainly just here to look good. On the engine here, which I've put together, this little light here, if, let's turn it to night. It stands out. It just helps you see things. So if it is dark, it looks a whole lot better. And finally, if you can control when lights are on and off, it can really add to the whole aesthetic of your creation. Even just blinking in these servers, it works well. So if you can get something like this, or, well, it's much easier, it's quite easy to do better than this, then lighting is really a good thing to add. Finally, character. Now, a lot of people build in different styles. Some people like building older themed creations such as Titanic themed recreations and for them having lots of sun like white lights isn't going to be the best. So let us look at some creations. Now this jet fighter here it's modern so I'm not going to have any futuristic style lighting and trims. Once you know what kind of creation you're building or what time zone it's from, you need to decide on the character of it. This, it, once you get it right, it just seems to work really well. And if you get it wrong, well, it stands out. It is very easy to get it wrong though. I hope today's video has been helpful and allows you to add much more detail to your own creations. If you've got any feedback, questions, or any methods of adding detail to your creations of your own, put them down in the comments please, and I'll have a look at them. If you've enjoyed today's video, why not leave a like? And if you truly loved it, consider subscribing. And well, that's all from me. I'll see you guys later.